Hello, welcome to another episode of Mark II Golf Stories. Today we're going to clean that mother hooking engine. So, let's do it. Okay, so we've got some degreaser. Going to give it a good spraying all over. Uh, inside and out. Let it sit and then keep an agitate and try and give it a wash. So let's do it. Gasket cleaner. Oh, how satisfying is that? So there we go, that's what it's like after the first round of degreasing. There'll be more to do when we get our foam degreaser. And then we'll have to make sure we give it all a wipe down, get all that surface layer of the rust off it. It's looking a bit better anyway. So we've got some of this 3-in-1 degreaser. I was going to get a quick blast, a scrub, and give it a wash. Leave that for five minutes. We brought it into the carport because it started to rain. So we'll let that do its job and then we'll give it a hose down with the jet washer. I think we'll give it a bit of an agitate with a brush as well. Obviously this isn't going to be sparkling, we just want to get all the grease off it so we can paint it. Some time later. block um, we're getting some cure rust it was all rusty okay so once again with our e-tech engine enamel not worry too much about the sides because this will be covered up by the belt so you're not really going to see that much anyway but i'll do a bit over there so we'll turn it around and do the other side Okay, that's one coat done. We'll uh, let this dry and come back in a little bit. Right, so we're giving this about three coats now. Uh, it's been about half an hour, so let's get this masking tape off. I think it's looking pretty good. It's 
quite satisfying doing this. Looks pretty good to me, that, Dad. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we finished it. Yep. Probably paint this as well. Okay, so we're back inside where this is living at the moment to stop any sort of moisture which might be in the garage getting in there and settling inside the balls of the engine. The paint's dried now. As you can see, we've got the 1.8 in yellow. I think it looks pretty nice. First thing we're going to be fitting back on this engine is going to be these little sprayers. So we need to turn the engine over and then we can get these in place. So these just go in here. Like that and they will line up with the screw hole there. These are a bit awkward to get in by the looks of it for some reason. Hmm. Okay, I guess this must be sitting at a bit of an angle because it doesn't feel like what you when you what you feel like should be straight up. Feels like is it a bit of an angle? So these all need to be tightened up to 10 newton meters, which is basically just hand tight. So I'm just going to tighten them all up a little bit, make sure they're okay. Okay. So we're going to be mounting the engine to the engine stand again on this side. So before we do that, I want to get the gasket and the plate on here. So we've got just the right gasket. So we've got this gasket here and our plate, so let's get these on. There you go. All right. Yep, let's have a nuts for it now. Seal? Yeah. Piggy crank? Yeah. Piggy crank. Seal. Right, I'm not going to tighten these up too much because we might need to adjust it when we put the um, engine crank in. So I'm just going to put them in a little bit, tighten them up because obviously the crank comes through here. So yeah, just set up a little bit and then we'll get this mounted on the engine stand. Okay, so we're going to put this little cog in which turns an intermediate shaft turns and drives the uh, oil pump. So let's put a bit of oil on this. And that goes in this way round. Next, we'll get our intermediate shaft in. We're going to put some engine lube on this before we put it in. That goes in that way. And we're using this uh, red line assembly. So, shout out to my mate Al who gave us this. Just be good stuff. So that slides in from the side over here. Okay, so we've got our um, seal which goes around the intermediate shaft, and we've removed the old rubber seal out of it, and we've got a new one here to go in. So we've put oil around it. Now we're just going to put it in, it goes this way up, I think. Yeah, this way. And try and just press it down. Mm -hmm. that looks okay to me. So we can now, this is now ready to go on. Here's that seal we just built. This goes on here. 
pin to get around the. Uh... Push that out a bit. Is it lying on you? Excuse my sniffing, I've got really bad hay fever at the moment. So we've got the uh, seal on separately. I found it a bit easier getting it on that way. Okay, that's in place. Right. Hang on, it's come then. That's a tie up properly. Yep. What do you want your um... Okay, once again, we're going to go to 15 Newton meters with this. That's 1.5. And check these shortly. Okay, let's get our shells on next. So we've got our holes here. They're not directly in the center. They're to one side and they have to line up with our oil holes here. Are we all the same? They're all the same, aren't they? We'll start at the end and work our way in. We've also got grooves here, which align with this little tab on the back here. Put the link for all these parts in the description below. Put some lube on these. Okay, time to get all cranking. I know, I know, I know. Oh, I got to come off. I just realised we've got to put the shims in. Got to take the crank back out to put the shims in. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we think we put these in the wrong way around. It looks like this bit, these grooves should be on the outside. So we'll put these in the, this way around and see if it will go in. Also, apparently we should be putting oil underneath the um, bearing. Do you want to do that as well, Dad? So these are the thrust bearings. Let's push it up. There we go. 
last day with the wrong way around. Brilliant. So we need to get these caps on next. These go on with the numbers, There's little numbers on these. They will be facing this side, the back of the engine. It's the front, it's the back. I think we'll start with number three. So we'll put the thrust washers on here, same way around, we're writing against it. In fact, there's a notch there. So we should be able to get these in a bit easier. Okay, so we'll do the middle one first. So that's gonna be the most awkward. See the wrong number at the bottom. Let's put a dollop of engine lube in. Don't need a lot of bit too much, whoops. Don't need much Never mind, no you don't need much. Okay, again, little notch that sits in the groove. engine loop comes out fast I know I know I don't need to put it much on it just comes out fast so writing against it that's this way around it's not gonna do any harm to have a bit much on it where's the other one Oh. Right, let's get this in place. Numbers facing out, we're going... Other numbers facing out, we're going one, two, three, four, five on his bearing caps. Okay, let's knock them in place now. Go on, you need that. Yeah, this one. Doesn't seem to be going in properly. <clears throat> hopefully, hopefully when we put the nuts in, we'll pull it down. Let's see. Yeah, there we go, it's pulling it down nice. If you want it up too tight, I'll get the rest of the bolts in all the way down. I don't think it matters what order you put these in on, like it does with a, uh, with a camshaft. So I'll just put them in. Start at the ends anyway, same sort of process. I'm still going to go to the ends first, and then the middle, and then these middle two. Right, before I talk it all up, I'm just going to try and give it a turn, make sure it turns okay. Yep, yeah, feels nice. Okay. So we're going to torque these up to 65 newton meters now. Hold this still for me. Don't put, your, don't put your weight on it. Don't stand underneath it. Alright. That falls on your feet, Dad. It won't. Don't stop it to anything, but leave it barely out of the way. Should I give it a turn, make sure it turns okay? No, it just did it here. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Okay, time to turn the engine over and uh, get ready to put the pistons in. First. Well, let's get the pistons on first. Right, so okay, it's time to put our pistons in. Um, we've got number four here, which is still labelled up from last time. Um, we need to make sure that they go in the right way around, and it was with this line here, facing towards this front of the engine. And I believe this arrow points towards the belt side, 
the top of the piston, which if you can see that. Yep, there's the arrow. Piston towards the belt side. Again, with the pistons, when you take off, you take these caps off, you want to make sure that these notches are both on the same side and they go back together. So we'll put some rubber hoses on these, we'll make sure that the piston rings are all aligned correctly. Gapping them so the bottom ring is down here. The second ring is here. You can see that. The third ring gap is here. So it makes a triangle. And hold those in place. It might fall off a little bit. So we've got our compressor on. We put this in, tap it down. This one. This one. I'm just going to get all the piston rings lined up. Just putting it in the clamp. Get it as tight as we can. Down a bit, come off the bottom, the bottom poking out so we can get it lined up in the bore. So we turn that running off. No, okay. Again, with the arrow facing this way. See here, the piston ring's pushing out, so not tight enough. Let's tighten it back up and try again. Let's try again. Let's get the bottom of the pistons out. There we go. So turn it over, put the end cap on. Okay. It's okay, it's not gonna fall out. It's not gonna fall out, Dad. And again, when you put these in check for your notches, it should be on this side, you can feel it, yes it is, this notch here goes on there, oh, put some engine lube on, alright, top tip, keep your piston ring compressor tight, I put a zip tie at the bottom that should keep compression on the piston ring all the way down. There we go. Jesus Christ. Roll CO2. Right. Where's my fucking nut? You're going to hold it on there now. Right, okay. Let's get some nuts missing that one. Okay. Cool, that was hard work. 
Right, let's get the uh, fuel pump in place now. This has been sitting in oil for over a couple of weeks, so it should be completely permeated with oil. Can't flip and get it in now, it's brilliant. Oh, look at that. It's that little bloody cog down the bottom, isn't it? It's not sitting in that cog. So if we turn it, we'll turn it lovely. Nothing. There we go, it's in now. It's still not in line. Yes, it is. Look at this in. Look, this, so this coffee button for that. No. Yeah, look, no, no, you tap me up before you put the cover on. Right, do you want to see if you can. Can you find, can you find it not anywhere now? Turn it round so we're getting it at the top. Come on. These must be talked up anyway, they're not all talked up yet, are they? No. That's a good point, maybe I shouldn't. Right, let's talk these two up. Okay, the connection rod caps to connection rod nuts needs to be done up to 30 newton meters plus one quarter turn. Okay, all these end cap nuts are tightened up to 30 newton meters, so we need to give them a uh, quarter turn or 90 degree turn just to finish them off. So we did these 30 and then did them um, uh, a quarter turn, but we found it was too tight to turn the ends over by hand, so we just loosened them off an eighth. So it's probably more like that sort of angle. Anyway, next we need to tighten up the oil pump. So I need to find my settings for these and we'll get that tightened up. These are 13 mil to 20 newton meters. 13. I'm tightening it. Less than I'm tight. There we go, let's double check. Right, get our splash shield on next. Should just slip on. Oh, I see. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be hitting the pistons there. Oh, it goes up here, doesn't it? That's why. There we go. Oh, that's it. Yeah. I wonder what that was for. We'll just give it another turn, make sure it all turns over before while this is on, and then we'll uh, get the sump on it, I guess. Turning, that's good. Okay. Don't know. Before we put the um, sump gasket on, obviously we need to take this uh, the flywheel off and get the get this plate on. Mm -hmm. Back on there. That's a bit small, really, but it'll have to do. I'm afraid. I just batter it. I say I've had it. Yeah. Pretty simple, isn't it? Okay, yes, Have we got a replacement here to put in? Replacement here. Yeah. Very good. Don't need loads. Just, just sort of give it around there like that. So it'll slip in. Mm -hmm. Back to the bishop. Three. <laughs> Make sure you get the right way around. Some around there. That that the right, that's, the, that's the inside. That's right way. Is that the right way? Yeah, that's the right way. Yeah. That's the inside. No, best, yeah, I think this might be better.
one side's in. Bit more yet. Quite even. Yeah, it's not bad. I'm not sure it got come right to the face, that's the trouble. I think it has actually. Yeah. That looks like it's right on the face, doesn't it not? No. That is. That's not so bad that. I suppose it'll pull itself right as it's good when it when 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 you put the other yeah. the shaft in. Yeah. That's about That's right. right. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Okay, so we've got our gasket. Just make sure your seal's on the right way around. Ours was on incorrectly a second ago, so all the holes line up. So we're gonna do these to um 10 newton meters, and this one because it's a bit bigger to 20. Oh, it's upside down, isn't it? This might be easier to get on off the uh, off the standard. It's pushing out like that, it's pushing that out. It's like it's too big. You got another one of these real seals in there, it's past as that. It doesn't look right now. Yeah. Here's our old seal. Here's our new one. Now, these look completely different on the back. Also, the new one. I can't tell, but it seems a bit smaller. I'm not sure if it is. Yeah, it looks a bit smaller. Also, the way they're connected inside. Completely different. But we do have a spare seal, so I think we'll try and get this seal out of here and put this new one in. Sure. They're going really out. Why is that brown one we've got going? Because it fits. It fits, yeah, but is it a new one? Yes, yeah, a new one. Oh, wow. There we go, nice and easy. I'll give this a clink, it looks a bit manky since the rest of the things are all, right, all clean. Right. So let's give it a bit of a clean inside here, on the outside. There we go, it's looking a bit cleaner. So we'll uh, try and get this new seal in. Almost flush all the way around. Here we go. Here's our new seal. In. Take it off there. On bench. No, that's right. I thought we'll get it. You know, pass the plastic trim. There we go. Looks like it's on. Yep, there we go. That's on. All right, so we get a couple of nuts in. Let's see if these nuts are any good. Not be able to tighten these up properly until we've got it off the stand. But we can at least, you know, try and tighten them up a little bit anyway. Well, that'll do for now. We can at least get the sump on. We'll put the rest of them in later on. Right, there we go. That's both of these end plates on. Wouldn't forget that 
Ooh. Next job is to get the uh, sump gasket off. There's nothing to hold it in place, that's a bit annoying. Put it on gently, and then put a bolt in, just drop a bolt in, a smaller bolt than it has to be. It's a big alley. It's a big alley. It's Pain in the ass is trying to get it all to line up properly. Anyway. You what? Anyway. Well, it looks okay. Right, okay. Let's have a look at these bolts then. So these only should be tightened to 20 newton meters. So break out Albie's little tiny torque wrench once again. And of course we've got one which doesn't seem to want to tighten. So we're going to take it out and try some stuff called thread filler. You won't be able to torque it though. Why not? Well, it will be this set. Oh. But you can tie it up and torque it tomorrow. Uh, this time, more I can torque it. Okay. So, I guess we've got to let that dry and then Dad can torque it up. Or we'll try and torque it up and I think it's going to work tomorrow. Okay, let's get this pulley back on. Start putting some of our pulleys on. We'll start with the uh, water pump pulley, the water from the oil pump pulley. It goes on there. Just tap it on. No, 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 I need it. Unless, there you go. Okay, so we're just trying to put our, so we've just got our new water pump and we're, you know, just checking the bolts all fit through. Uh, slight problem with these bottom holes. Um, the bolts don't go all the way through. Obviously they'll go through this way, so the right length, but for whatever reason, it's too tight on this bit. And on our, on our old uh, water pump, on the old water pump, it goes straight through. So what we're going to do is drill out these bottom holes from the back and hopefully the bolts should go all the way through man. So let's do that. Well let's see if that's made any difference. There we go. So I didn't need much, just must have been a bit of paint blocking it. Lovely. Okay, let's get our water pump back on. It's got a new seal on it. Just put a bit of um, WD-40 on that. On what? And dear. Uh, Why? Well, it's loosened up, but it's got oil on it, actually. It's got oil on it. Okay, good. See what, considering there have been holes and what, but you can still see a gap there, can't you? Well, there's going to be a bit of a gap around the piston, it's really piston rings. But we're not, there's no, you know, we don't move at all like we did previously. Oh, that bracket fits on top of that. Yep. So the, um, 
Dynamo, the um... Dynamo, what year are you from? <laughs> uh, alternator fits too. Correct. 17mm spanner for these. Okay, let's get this bracket on for the, I think it's for the alternator. Oh yeah. Which one was that? That's one on the other side, isn't it? Did, did you? That goes on the head, does it? Yeah, it must do. Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, engine rebuild completed. Um, it does turn over, but it's very, 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 very tight. I'm not sure if it should feel that tight to turn over. Um, I guess the next job will be to start building the clutch side of it um, and get the clutch and gearbox back on it and then hopefully get it back in the car. But yeah, it's good to see things coming together. If you found this video useful, please consider dropping a like, click on subscribe, leave a comment and all that good stuff. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry it's taking so long. See you in another video soon. Bye bye.